Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Eye of the Beholder for the GBA. I'm your host, the Gamer Darius. Last we left off, Kabolds, which actually managed to ambush us in the worst way possible. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's a ranged Kabold. I could have gotten off, ah, uh, whatever. I could have possibly have gotten off a shot against him with Jaina without being attack of opportunity. That said, I don't think that the undead next to her would have allowed her to do so. Do so, rather. Really? He's got a mace. Why was it? Ah, uh, whatever. There. Undead are dead. Now let's move up a little bit here so that someone else can get in on the slaughter. Can I do that? No? Can I even hit from freaking five feet away? Ten feet away? Guys are the worst archers. Know that, right? Worst <laughs> archers. Alright. So we still have that teleporty area to check out as well. More kabolds. Less kabolds now. This this is this is essentially what the dialogue's been broken down to, folks. I mean it's nothing masterful, it's freaking GBA Dungeons and Dragons. No, not mm, I thought that freaking bro clunk was still the one, so I had skipped his turn. Die. I swear, I'm gonna end up burning everyone in my party at least two or three times with the use of fireballs when we get the ability to cast that with Jaina. Not Jaina. The Lardra. Holy oh, crap, he hit something. They're hitting the undead bastard. Eh, might as well save up on the, uh... Hey! We actually killed him. I'm less surprised that we killed him, and more surprised that we managed to do so with only melee. Seriously, I don't know what's up with all the comical sort of noises. It's a little distracting, ain't gonna lie. Finally, someone level ups. Alright, so she picks two brand spanking new spells. Uh, I think Snow Swarm... Uh, I gotta look up these spells because, god damn it, I'm gonna end up picking the wrong ones and people are gonna get pissed off at me, so one second. Okay, so I have the list of the spells here. Uh, pretty much the three that I'm looking at are these three. Yeah, that's kind of weird that the sound doesn't. Anyways, Ag Aganazar's Scorcher is a weak damaging spell. 1 to 11 fire damage. Uh, shoots out a stream of fire, so don't cast the spell through your teammates um, because you will hurt them too. Geedley's Electric Loop, 1 to 18 damage in a 5 foot radius. So, basically kind of useless as, if anything, I'd rather she not be in range of anyone that can do that. Silnox Snowstorm. Snow erupts from target, 2 to 24 damage in an area. Very good damage spell, except against skeletons, because skeletons are immune to cold damage, which can damage several creatures at once. The radius of the spell is 2. So it works kind of like a smaller, frosty-based, um... What's the word I'm looking for? A very, a much smaller, frosty-based magic missile. Or magic missile fireball. Yeah, I'm going to go with Silnox Snow Swarm. And... I guess Melf's Acid Arrow. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that'll do. I don't know if there is any... Uh... uh what's the word? 
I mean, I could get her a crossbow as well. That would be nice, having an extra person to shoot from the back, if anything. Oh no, she's not even proficient with... I'm trying to think whether or not how closely this game follows the original 3.5 rules. So I don't know whether or not taking armor proficiency would be good or bad. So one second, and unless I look that up. So apparently there is an armor check or uh, 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 arcane spell failure in this game, which is weird that they it would implement all the things that are negative and not so much the positive. This means that armor proficiency at all for the wizard would suck. So let's just give her, I don't know, freaking. Martial weapon proficiency. This should allow her to use bows. Alright. Level up your spellcraft. Level up your other stuff. Search as well. Why not? Still don't really know the purpose of leveling up rogue. But you know what? Let's give Jaina a fighter. I just... I'm sick of having her freaking... Yeah. I know that's that's going to come up, up and bite me in the ass in the longer run, but at the same time, part of me don't care. Hide into it direction. Use magic device and spot. Why not? All right. Kabold over there. Let's go murder it. Come team. That's not just a cabal. That is... That is zombies. That is weak-ass zombies, but it's zombies nonetheless. <clears throat> Must adjust myself. One second. There we go. And that's my cell phone. One second. Okay. Oh, there's... Now she can multiple attack. Because she's got a rapid reload. Is it any good, though? Holy crap, she actually killed something. <coughs> Sound the alarm, she's murdered something. Uh, can't hit that guy, so let's just go for... Oh, she's level 3, which means multiple magic missiles. Ha freaking za! At this point, there almost doesn't seem to be a point to having uh, landed on the team. I ain't gonna lie. It's kind of saddening, but oh well. He he he's there for the extra offshoot chance of actually being able to kill someone, you know. Ah, oh, dang it! It's gonna just. Move into range here. And we should be able to murder this guy. The Nolvins have got this guy. Ooh. For once, one of them didn't die terribly. These guys will just chill in the back. There we go. Hmm. But he doesn't sound like what's ever behind here is, uh... God damn it. Keep on forgetting to set up... Spells. Alright. Zero level spells. I guess electric jolt. Magic missile. So, no, if those are skeletons, then I'm gonna want acid arrows instead. Hi, Undead. I, I I didn't realize that you could appear in front of me despite there being a door. But I digress. This one. And this one. Dang it. There's double the chances for her to miss from now on. 
but the offshoot that there might possibly sort of kind of be an opportunity for her to murder better, that'd be great to me. Double chances to miss also means double chances to hit, so why not? Charge on in, Olden, against the two skeletons, zombies. I still don't know what they're supposed to be. Magic Measle. Well, at least it doesn't waste my time with having to do the calculations for the second Magic Missile. Nah. Okay, sure. Oh! Greetings, I am Ulbrich. I must thank you for taking care of that fool imposter claiming to be me. You must be quite... You have been quite useful, but your youthful lifetime has expired. Although you may have been helpful to my... To me, my partners cannot tolerate your intrusions into our affairs. We already have enough problems with those meddlesome dwarves below. But they will be taken care of just as I will take care of you. This is Albrick. He's a douche. Actually, if I recall correctly, he's actually a vampire. So, that sucks. Alright, let's see if I can't take out the two... No, I was about to say is take out the two ranged guys because they might be the most pain in the assy. Oh wait, but I should be able to take out those two undead rather easily enough. Good, 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 good. All right, here's my plan. Move here. Have Talos cast a good old-fashioned bull strength on Ulven. Totally didn't mean to skip Zilagra's turn, but okay. Ulven will come up and start smashing. We'll start cleaving our way a path through the uh, kobolds to Ulbrich. Ow. Or Ulbrich will come around to us. You foolish, foolish little gobby. Kobold. Whatever. <gasps> huh. They're using some weird vi weird tactics here. Alright. Landon, come on, buddy. Hit something. You are useless. Um... Yeah, I guess just continue cleaving on through, Gokunk. Let's see if I can't get rid of some of these archers. Come on. Archer v. Archer here. <sighs> to say I'm disappointed would be an understatement. Hmm. Gokunk is kind of low on HP. And getting lower, so I don't know whether to turn undead or to heal him. Yeah, how much is he rocking right now? 19. Alright, move here. Gonna cast Cure Moderate Wounds on him. <sighs> that was a disappointment, but okay. Here I was thinking to myself, oh hey, a bunch of undead won't have to... Really? You missed? That's like a ranged touch attack, woman. Really? I mean, I get it that he's a boss character or whatnot, but damn it. I'm sorry, is he casting magic missile right there? I hate you. Yep. Vampiric Slam. That's not a good. That's not a good in the slightest. Alright. Landon, for the love of crap. I wish you rogues would do something useful in this combat. 
But I guess th that's just a little too much to ask. Now, let's go multiple. Come on, just murder one of them. They're not even doing anything over there. Ha! That's what you get for trying to cast a spell. Come on. Get through the lineup of all the monsters. Talos, use your turn, undead. Oh, guess it didn't turn all brick, but one moment again. All right. Game on. See if I can't melt acid here. Is he immune to acid? No, he's not immune to acid. So I don't know why the hell that first one missed. Other than gaming competence. Hmm. Stop slamming him. I don't know what your slamming is doing. Zero damage. The one time you hit Landon and it did zero damage. Alright. Managed to kill someone. Mm, dead? No. And... God damn it all. I guess it'd be too much to ask for the hitting of Albrick with a turn undead to be a working thing, huh? Guess I'll just have to magic missile. Or not. Hmm. I'm really perturbed right now that none of this is working. I really also want to know what the hell he's even doing over there to Olven. Because the Vampiric Slam's not doing damage. Wait. I'm trying to remember what vi what a Slam attack even does. I want to say he's draining stats. Stop that. Dang it. Should I just go over and murder those two? Should really just go over there and murder those two. One second, I'm gonna freaking stomp over here with my freaking cleric and mesu. Alright. So magic missile didn't work. Melf's acid arrow did only like seven damage. So Zaladra is useless. Oh, for crap. Hit, please. Can you hit this guy? Holy crap, you hit that guy. You killed something. Alright, with you guys over here, should only be a matter of time until this guy dies. Um, actually, why don't you try to turn on dead? That's not turning on dead. This is turning on dead. Nope. I guess being a vampire, he is a little bit too powerful to be churned. Oralvin can do straight up 14 damage. Ring of protection. Well, I'll definitely want Zalardra to have that. Ring of Protection is probably good on oh, mm, Girl Clunk. He's the one with the less HP. Yeah, there's just large ass freaking roundabout here. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, how much more of this level hadn't I explored? Not too much. What's this? Nothing. Alright, let's go back a little bit of a ways. I wonder whether or not I get uh, experience for disabling those traps.
Mm. Oh god. Teleported to another area. <laughs> okay. Don't know what that slamming was off in the distance, but it's definitely a sound. Do not tell me that there was no point in this. Climb down the pit. That's a trap. Jaina, disable. I really wish that the... Wait. Oh, that one was actually a freaking... Huh. Actually a freaking switch. That one was a trap. Dang it. Oh, a short bow. Hey, wait. Oh, landing can't carry it right now. Oh, but we don't have any arrows, which means I'll probably have to rest beforehand. Hello? Huh. Get a little weirded out when there's large areas that have absolutely nothing in them. See, in the core uh, Eye of the Beholder, core Eye of the Beholder? In the base game of Eye of Beholder from the Gold Box series, I just go around in a circle. Yes, I did. No, wait. Huh. Maps are confusing. In the original Eye of the Beholder game, this entire area would be filled to the brim with monsters that moved and interacted with the environment and cast spells at you. In this, no, all the monsters just kind of chill and wait for you. When you get to them, then they strike and laugh menacingly at you. Would it really help if I was going the right direction? Here we go. Not that way. Okay. Oh, stop your splish splashing. Then I get carried over here. Fascinating. Not as fascinating. Ah, crap, is the teleporty trap all over again? I don't remember my way. I don't remember my way at the slightest. I. No one says rats. One would think I'd just be able to climb back up the way I came from. Actually, wait. Where was that? There was a little bit of writing on the walls. Ah, well, screw it. <sighs> Cabold rune. Yeah. I'm mostly just looking, yeah. Yeah, this will this will take me back the way I came from. Yeah. No have to worry about Ulbrick. Anymore anyways. I did kill him after all. Actually, yeah. Quick looking at quick looking. Uh energy drained. So Energy drain means he has negative levels. Negative levels means that he is hitting for less, uh, hitting less often. All that fun noise. And I think that the only way to heal it is through restoration. Which I don't quite recall whether or not Talos is able to cast or at least even prepare restoration spells. But it's probably a good idea to look into it. Because lesser restoration. 
And I just don't know whether or not lesser restoration will do the trick. Also, yeah, you see my, er for some reason, someone just failed their intuit directions uh, thingy. So now any which way I, I know where I am on the map, it's just I don't know. All right. Was it you? Actually, wait. Ah, god damn it. Landon. Trade. Short sword. Give it to Girl Clunk. Uh, stud leather. Also give it to Girl Clunk. Because what I want is for, I think it was Ziddle that had. Give that. Arrows. Also the Landon. Landon. Equipped. Short bow, quiver, arrows. All right, Talos. That's a restoration on Olven. I don't know whether or not that worked. Olven, still energy drained. I'm gonna have to look up how the hell to fix that. Why not? We're undead. Finish this off the right way. With the purging of the undead. Really? Just, just one more? Could it, could it get the one more guy? Fine. It's a larger. We'll have to do the trick for you then. Hmm. Magic missile. Ha ha! No. Don't know why I bother with you two sometimes. Olven, go make it into dead. Or not. Not works too. Grow clunk, go make it into dead. Naha. Yay. All right, this. Mm, got side bushed. Talos, turn him. Oh, come on. We leveled up and everything, guy. Should I at least be able to handily turn the undead? <sighs> Guys are a disappointment. Ow. Okay. Don't have you do anything. Okay, could you kindly stop murdering my good archer? Hmm. Suppose I should have had him hit the one in the back. Thank you. Okay, this seems very trappish. So let's quickly deactivate it. For no real reason whatsoever. Hmm. Three switches. I'm gonna have people rest and then call an episode here. When we return, I'm gonna figure out what these switches are all about. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.